Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Intuition. Today's video is another five tips video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys five tips to become a deeper thinker. So I'm gonna be sharing five pointers to help us develop our minds and become deeper thinkers. All right, let's dive into it. Tip number one to become a deeper thinker is to learn how to abstract thoughts. An abstraction is a concept or a definition that is independent of reality. The reason you want to become good at abstracting thoughts is that you want to be able to look at specific examples and be able to isolate the critical concept that underlies that phenomenon. And you can take a simple example, such as four minus three equals one. And this is something that you learn early in life because you might say to yourself, well, if I have four apples and someone takes away three of those apples, then I'm going to be left with one apple. So four minus three equals one. So that would be a specific example of four minus three. But in order to abstract the concept from that specific example, you have to eliminate the specific example of dealing with apples because four, three, and one are just numbers. Numbers are just abstract concepts. They don't have to have anything to do with reality. These are just numbers, which are abstract concepts. And that's something that you have to understand. So once you understand that these are just numbers, then you will want to ask yourself, what are the definitions of these numbers? And once you do that, you're thinking abstractly because you're not thinking in terms of apples or oranges or anything in the real world. You're looking at the numbers and simply asking questions about their properties. And that is what abstract thinking is all about. So being able to engage in abstract thinking is a big way to become a deeper thinker, okay? Now my second tip to become a deeper thinker is to always keep your eyes on the big picture. Now this one is huge because when you take courses in school, teachers give you a lot of details, right? In fact, it is my personal opinion that we are overwhelmed with details in school, especially like pharmacy school. We're given a lot more information than we can possibly even process, which is ridiculous. That's not how things should be. And things should not be that way because it forces students to ignore the big picture and simply focus on details. For example, let's say you're taking a biology class and you're learning about glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. This is something that a lot of students learn when they take biology and what do they do? They focus on the pathways and in all the different steps of the Krebs cycle, memorizing all the chemicals and all the steps of that cycle, which is okay. But if you were to ask a lot of these students, hey, what was the purpose of even learning about the Krebs cycle? What was the big picture behind learning that pathway? Most students will not even know why they were forced to learn all those details, which is ridiculous because the whole point, the whole point of learning those pathways and those details is to learn how those details are connected to the bigger picture. And in the case of glycolysis in the Krebs cycle, the big picture there is to learn how the body is able to generate energy to sustain itself, how the body is able to generate energy so that we can survive and live. If you keep the big picture in mind, it will be easier for you to focus on the details because you know that those details are important and that they have an impact on the larger picture, right? So that's my second tip to become a deeper thinker. So now my third tip to become a deeper thinker is to learn how to use analogies. Analogies are huge. In fact, if you look at any standardized test, whether it's the SAT, the GRE, the PCAT, they all have a section for analogies. Analogies is a critical component of learning and thinking. Because remember, it's impossible for you to learn everything. And if you look at everything as isolated incidents, it's going to be hard for you to gain a lot of knowledge if you don't see how things are connected. So that's what analogies allow you to do. Analogies allow you to see the connection between things that might not seem similar. For example, let's say you're taking physics class. You might learn about the physics of a block oscillating on a spring, which will be a harmonic oscillator. And maybe in your second semester of physics, you might learn about LC circuits, which is an inductor capacitor circuit. And if you look at these two things, they seem very dissimilar. One thing is mechanical and the other thing is electrical. Yet, these two things are completely analogous to each other. So being able to make these connections and see how things are connected is a good way to become a deeper thinker, okay? So that's tip number three. So now tip number four to become a deeper thinker is to constantly look for holes and inconsistencies in what you think you know. So you wanna constantly question what you think you know. This will force you to think deeper and deeper and to gain more and more knowledge. So you never wanna be completely satisfied with what you know because knowledge is never complete. Knowledge is never 100%. It's impossible for us to know anything with 100% precision. So it's good to question what you think you know and to make sure that your thoughts are consistent and coherent. Constantly challenging the things that we think we know is a good way for us to dive deeper into knowledge. 
And of course, when I say challenge, it doesn't mean you ignorantly challenge things. You definitely want to think things through before asking questions and making sure that you're actually asking good questions instead of just being a pessimistic skeptic. Okay. So that's tip number four. Tip number five to become a deeper thinker is to learn from some of the best teachers and some of the best thinkers that we currently have and that we've had in the past. And there are lots of books out there. There's so many different uh, videos on YouTube you can watch from professors at MIT, at Yale, that you can get a lot of knowledge from. And an app that I would recommend for you guys to download and to get is an app called Brilliant. This video is not sponsored by Brilliant. I wish it was because it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal app. You know, I've been using it for about a month now and the level of detail and the explanation for all the different courses covered on this app is just exceptional. And it does a really good job of helping you learn material instead of just throwing information at you. And of course, there are also free content online. There's my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to it if you haven't already. I provide free knowledge on this channel that is on par with some of the best education that you would get at the universities. So definitely go and subscribe, like, and share our videos. So go ahead and do that. And I guarantee you that these tips will definitely lead you into the direction of becoming a smarter version of yourself. And if that is your goal, which I think that should be the goal of everybody, because we can all improve and become better thinkers. So you should definitely consider these tips and go ahead and implement them. All right. So with that said, I want to leave you guys with that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.